So I want to welcome all of you to the very first meeting of Ivan. It seems that everyone we talk to says this is an idea that should happen. I'm happy that we're, we're now creating a home for Varian users. We're calling this our founding meeting. All of you folks uh, sitting here today with us, you're the founding group. And and we're so darn lucky to have such brain power available. I'm very happy that you, you've all come here today. And basically what we wanted to do was put together a community for purposes of interactive information exchange through meetings such as this one. The path forward concerning maintenance and upkeep and support is just unclear for many, if not most, of the owners and the operators of this equipment. And this obviously represents a, a huge dilemma. And we think that there really needs to be a solid structure of some kind created to ensure the longevity of this equipment. We're headed into unknown territory here, and it's up to all of us to attempt to figure out. Dan, for a long time, has been the motivating force behind VNMRJ. So there's OpenVNMRJ, that's the website. So how can people contribute to this effort? First thing you can do is start using OpenVNMRJ. Anything that gets submitted to OpenVNMRJ has to be available for everybody to use. I think what you guys are doing with the uh, OpenVNMRJ is fabulous. The software is so, so important. This is very much going to be a two-way street. We want it to be very interactive. The point is to pitch this idea to this founding group of Ivan and think about it, give us a feedback. This user group, this group can drive that and, and make it into a, a community forum. We've decided that it would be a great idea to form a users group of some kind. I like to refer to it as a home base. How can we make this happen? I'm very happy that we're all getting together and seeing if we can figure some things out. One of our goals for today is we're going to have an awful lot of food here. We're going to have a great lunch served. The best part of the day is going to be the reception afterwards. We want to be able to keep the group relevant, up to date. We want to keep it lively moving forward. And we want to be able to do this on an international basis as well. John this morning mentioned many possibilities for what we might do from a communications point of view in Ivan. For example, he mentioned webinars or online discussions. Whatever brings the Varian community together so we can promote you know, a lot of sort of helpful discussion. How do we keep this group moving forward? I guess the key in my mind is protecting the investment that we have in the NMR spectrometers. How do we keep these machines in operation? Spare parts is going to be critical. We're certainly trying to identify and acquire all of the uh, used variant and agile equipment that, that we possibly can. What are the easiest ways to improve the life of your uh, hardware? The most common issues that people call field service for usually ends up being a fan, an amplifier, the power supplies, or an automation failure. We would like to be able to keep entire systems in circulation, whole systems. A very important part of it should be to, to again bring in the new science. There are new technologies that are coming in fast that should be exploited to make NMR a true analytical technique. The stuff is right out of Star Trek here. <laughs>